So now we're going to show you how to find the distal biceps using the Cobra approach, but I'm going to show you how to do it in long and transverse. And lots of people forget to do the transverse view of it. And actually it shows it really nicely. So first of all, you can see I'm transverse on the radial head. This is the radial head. You know, it's the radial head because it's got articular cartilage on it. Now from this position, as you can see, the patient is at 90 degrees supine and I've asked them to fully pronate and keep their hand in that position themselves. That's really important. Otherwise you will not see the distal biceps. As we slide down, keep the bone bright and you'll see you've got the radius and you've got the ulna. Just heel down the probe and as you come further down, what you'll start to see is the distal biceps tendon here. You can see the supinator muscle on top. If you ask your patient to pronate as much as possible, that will give you as much of the distal biceps as you can. So you can see here, we can scan through it. This is a long section. If you're not sure if you're on the distal biceps, you can ask your patient just to supinate and it will go and then it will come up. So this is the radial tuberosity. So you can have a look for any thickening. This is actually quite thick. You can see it's slightly heterogeneous. So it's got a slight loss of fibrillar pattern, um, but nothing to be too concerned about there. Uh, then what you can do, and this is the bit that people often get this view, and actually this is the view I would use for an injection. So if I was to inject it, I would just come from this side here, um, from the inferior surface on the probe, and I would just inject on top of the biceps tendon here. It's a great way of doing the injection because it avoids the artery if you do the anterior approach. Then what we're going to do, keeping that full pronation, we're then going to just spin the probe into this position. Now we want the distal side um, on the right, which we've got there. So this now is the footprint of the distal biceps. Keep the bone bright. You can see it is slightly heterogeneous. So there is some mild tendopathic um, uh, aspect to this on the distal biceps. And then remember, sometimes you can see them as separate attachments, but because this is slightly heterogeneous, slightly tendinopathic, you're not going to see them as individual bundles. So just the thing I want to take you want to take from this is lots of you will be good at finding the long section, but actually if you just rotate on that, you get that really nice transverse footprint of the distal biceps onto the radial tuberosity. Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry, we've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos, you can make a comment, you can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos, and you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning.